Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's going to be St. Clair College versus Tech University of Berlin. Ooh. We're right into the swing of things, and if this graphic is correct, it looks like they perhaps won game one. I don't think that's correct here, St. Clair College, especially after their fantastic game one. But hey, you know what? Maybe you're not exactly wrong, because Technical University of Berlin already leading strong here. Hyrule getting the first goal of this game. And it's looking pretty solid so far. 30 seconds in, and the way they got that goal was, again, very by the book. And you love seeing something like that, because that means that the players are comfortable and they are ready to go. But Christian getting a demo, <laughs> a little bit of revenge for that last goal. A shot going to get clipped towards the net here. Vesh going to save it, pass it down towards Ben. High roll is going to intercept. Christian, nice save. That was really good, really well placed. That perfect stoppage there, angling it towards their side. And now a Tiger... Just waiting for that pass. Ben's going to intercept. Take it towards the center. Vesh waiting on the ground there. Going to get intercepted. Now Saints are on the offensive. Saints and are on the offense here. And now Deuce Technical Berlin have the defense. No, they do not. Ben going to get a nice clean goal. It is 1-1 on the scoreboard now. 1-1 one, one, looking clean. Tying things up here. And uh, things are already a little bit closer than we saw in that first series that the Saints were playing. Um, I feel like the Saints are still going to be able to try to find their footing. But I feel like Tech University of Berlin, they are they are emphasizing that offense on their side as well. I feel like these teams are going to be trading offensive pressure back and forth instead of it being entirely one-sided uh, for either team. But even then, it could still be pretty scary as uh, one of these teams might have better offense than the other one uh, ultimately as the series goes on and cementing it a little bit more. But <laughs> as we're watching the ball kind of go through here, tracing wow. the action, and it's going up to the net. And, uh, you know, right back here, you know, over here, uh, right, right here, back. we're in the thick of it. But while we're waiting for the game to come back, we can uh, kind of explore a little bit about what potentially we could be seeing. Hey, right back, we're, right we're back. here to it. Right back, and, and look hey! at that. Another goal for Technical University of Berlin. Absolutely amazing showcase from them. Germany coming in, proving that they are are very very strong yeah very glad we didn't miss that goal there it was a really nice one the lead up to it as well again it shows that these teams are confident coming into the series and they are energetic they're excited they are not playing with any reservations both of these teams of course coming off of a win and not exactly sure what margin um technical university of berlin's win was right could have been 3-2 could have been 3-0 just like our saints we had a 3-0 victory ourselves but Again, I'm seeing that energy coming out from this team, and uh, I'm really liking that because it shows, again, confidence. And in a game like Rocket League, confidence is not everything, but it's a lot of everything because even if you're the most skilled player in the world, you won't go for the shots that you need to go to if you're not feeling comfortable. But, ooh, did you see that in the net there? They got tangled up. That would have been a really nice, simple save, but a really, really well-placed bump getting sent out of the way, and even Christian getting tangled up in the net with one of the opponents on Tech U of Berlin. So really well played by, uh, by Tech U and getting a goal for it as well. Really well played. And now Saints really need to step up their speed here. Time is of the essence. They need to get two goals within two minutes to even tie this up. So we're going to see them par probably go on a full blitz here. And going on that full blitz, hey, uh, you know, it's 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 a part of the game. You have to try your best to ensure you are always playing at 100% speed. You don't want to slow down for a second. And it is a difficult thing to do. It is physically tiring playing this game at 100%. But still, they are managing to do so, keeping the Saints oppressed, not allowing them to even get a gasp in and I think that profile picture is very fitting for the performance we're seeing so far this guy is fully locked in ultra instinct really just <laughs> completely let go of all thoughts and letting your body take control of the ball take control of your car I think that's probably the most fitting way to play Rocket League Exactly. I mean, look at this. There's an absolute flow state here. But it looks like the Saints are going for an interesting goal there. Can't quite get it, though. And with time ticking down slowly but surely, they need 
to make this a one count. They need to start playing very, very quick here. They need a goal right about now, but it's going to be Tech U of Berlin just doing an absolutely amazing job at playing the defense. High roll going for a little bit of a carry here, trying to pierce through this defense on the side of the Saints. But at this point, there's no point in the Saints playing defense with a minute remaining. They need to go all full on offense here. And wow, great shot on the goal, but it's going to get saved out by T. Gray there. And now we see Christian finding in midair. High roll going for another dunk once again. One minute remaining left on the clock. Things are not looking good for St. Clair. Three goal gap to close. Not enough time to do it. I don't think this one's going to go their way. It's going to go over the way of Berlin if I had to bet. But I'm no betting man. So let's see <laughs> if they can do it regardless. 40 seconds on the clock now. We got uh, Gnack Flow. <laughs> Interesting name still. But uh, Tigre trying to rest control the ball. It's going to get sent towards off the crossbar. Vesh going to carry that one out. 30 seconds on the clock. Um, Tech U of Berlin going to take this game one most likely, but still, Saints had a part of it. They were still um, part of this game. They had offensive pressure, and they still do, honestly. If we got that fantasy schmancy uh, ball possession and shots total like we did in that first game, I would have wagered a guess. It's probably pretty even. I just feel like Tech U of Berlin's offense is that much tighter, and that's the point I was trying to make a little bit before. I feel like these teams are going to be trading offense instead of it being entirely one-sided for most of the game but it's going to come down to which team has the cleaner offense and hey you know what cleaning up a little bit dusting themselves off after a little bit of a rough uh game one getting one back at the start here i think they might uh, be able to take game two i think so as well berlin a very very good start for themselves here it's all up to St. Clair to find some way to pierce through that defense because they had some good shots on the goal. But it was Berlin that was able to defend every single time without fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just wanted to point out High Roll and Christian both having Sasuke profile pictures. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how relevant that's going to be for this game, but someone is going to win this game with the Sasuke profile picture on that's going to matter for somebody. Yep. It's going to matter to me. I want to always see Sasuke succeeding. Yeah, it's going to be a duel here at Final <laughs> Valley. It's looking of like it's not looking too great for the Saints right now. They need to try and step up their game in some sort of way. Like you can Get definitely a tell that it's winnable, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's just how. What is the game plan? What is the gap in the armor that is the Technical University of Berlin? They have to lean back and try and think and figure that one out. And honestly, I think it's just they're not used to being on the back foot here. We've mm -hmm. only seen them seen them perform up us up the score. They've rarely ever been down, and now we're seeing them uh, grapple with that fact that they need to find a way to play from the back foot. Sorry, I'm just seeing <laughs> something. On the I see what you're saying, but yeah. still, I completely agree with you. The Saints, they're wrestling with a little bit of their ability to kind of maintain control, maintain pressure, um, while they're facing a lot themselves. Like I said, the offensive pressure, it's trading back and forth. Uh, University of Berlin, or Technical University of Berlin, um, still made showing that they have better control when they do have the offense in the Saints right now. And not exactly sure what that factor is, what's making that difference uh, for this team or for both of these teams uh one thing for sure i remember seeing a lot from that first game the saints played was just getting so much more control into those corners and not getting contested there i feel like this game though first of all saints are battling more for control of the ball they're not getting as much free possession as they were before and when they do get possession they uh you, technically university of berlin they are a lot faster and a lot more aggressive when pursuing and trying to steal control back they're not just playing for interceptions they will literally drive on you and steal the ball and I feel like that's the difference between the offensive pressure we saw from the Saints game one versus game two now where things are a lot more aggressive yeah I definitely have to agree with you there but still I don't know it's going to be an uphill battle for the Saints nonetheless and just to give a quick overview of how this tournament is working out, you either need to get three wins to qualify or three losses. So if you're going through uh, a win and a loss back and forth kind of thing, you're going to end up playing around five games. If you win one, or if you win two, lose three, you're out. But if you win three, you lose two, you're still in this. Exactly. So that is looking to potentially be what the Saints are going to do. They might take a loss here with if things keep going, but... They're not going to be down and out. They'll still have a few more games to play. Absolutely. And I'll take as many games as I can for the Saints because 
watching them play today especially has just been a treat. I want to see what more they can bring for us here as we get into this game two versus Technical University of Berlin. And things are already starting off on a hot foot as Christian kind of stealing control off of that interception. Ben getting that rebound, bouncing it back over to Orange side as they were trying to send it flying. Two demos for Technical University of Berlin. Saints responding back on their side, sending the ball towards the Orange net. But Tigre is going to take that one back, intercept it, prevent that from going in. High roll now trying to get that ball in his possession. It's bouncing back and forth really high as well. Going to leave that over. Ben intercepting that bounce back. Now it's going to get stolen out from high roll. All these interceptions, all of these smart heads up plays from both of these teams. It's going to amount to a lot of difficult defense so far. We're seeing Ben get a nice demo. Christian maybe going to steal that one out. No, he's going to stay on the back line. Ben waiting for that ball to hit the ground. Not even going to. He's going to fly up to meet it in midair. He's going to beat that 50. Take it right back to the corner. Not going to be able to send it against Vesh will take it, buzz, bouncing off the corner, bouncing off the ground, sending that over, but now it's just corner bouncing back and forth. These teams are trying to just keep it going between the corners over and over again to hopefully get a centered shot, but wow, a very impressive shot from Gangflow. Really nice save, rather, and Ben off of the ceiling, bouncing it down once more. The Saints have not let up off of the offense this entire game. It's been on this orange side. Really well played, but it's finally going to escape now. But again, Christian taking it back, but hopefully it's going to be a little bit more breathing room for Technical University of Berlin now. Yeah, you can keep up the pressure, but unless you get a goal, that pressure is not going to do all too much for you, especially when things are closing in on yourself by Berlin. They're slowly encroaching on this net slowly but surely and tiger gonna keep on pushing here as we see nag flow going for an interesting turnaround here in the corner just bobbing and weaving between the saints getting a nice fast roll on that ball trying to get a setup for his team it's up in the air in that corner the saints need to clear can barely just not get it they miss it and that's gonna be a tee up for high roll to get the goal beautiful play as well again these teams I feel like you might be playing on your side of the field, uh, but ultimately opportunities are present for both teams at all times. So I think that goes into why the defense for both of these teams is a little bit less risk uh, taking. They're, they're a lot more risk adverse because Anything can go wrong at any opportunity. Ben getting that demo, a little bit of a brief opening, but T. Gray's gonna have control, setting it over Christian. Not gonna get that top there, but he's still gonna be able to save it out from rolling uh, back into a favorable position for another shot. Gonna get a demo now too. Gang flow, housing it to T. Gray. Riding the wall, taking it towards the center. Vesh is there, thankfully. Also, Christian for the save, the crucial, crucial save there. Bouncing it off of his roof. Vesh passing it down to Ben. Ben carrying it forward. Gonna launch forward. He's gonna get demoed, however, and that's gonna stop the shot in its tracks. Vesh playing the uh, vanguard, the guardian, preventing that from going down. And now, Saints playing on the defense once again. Christian sending it out, but Hyrule passing it back. Christian waiting for that ball to hit the ground in the corner, contesting the corners. Like I said, I think that's a very important part of the defense. And Tigre looking to exploit that fact as the net's kind of open right now. Vesh able to clear it, though, at least for now. At least for now, but time is ticking. Tech, you may only be up one point, but it looks like it may be two. That's a very scary gap to have. Vesh going for a mad blitz, but can't get quite get it with the demo. Another shot by Christian gets saved out by Tigre. And now Ben going to be the last one standing, but not for long as a demo comes through. It's just the Saints squabbling here, trying to find a goal. They need to even out the scoreline if they want to stay in this. I did just realize, yeah, it's only one goal in, and we're about, we're just one minute left. This game feels like it's been going on for 20 seconds, and here we are basically at the end of it. Vesh looking for that shot, but the defense from the Technical University of Berlin is so tight it's so difficult to find openings because there just are none you see time and time again a shot's coming out you have three members in the net ready for the save they're all going for the save at the same time so even if one of them misses surely one of the other two will get that save but not going to be able to say the same on the side of the Saints that net is wide open and it's going to be a shot once again high roll is going to make it time and time again a clean one for Berlin taking this second goal, making it all the much more difficult to get two more Saints need to tie this up. 
all the more difficult indeed. 50 seconds left on the clock. They need to start getting these goals and quick. As you can tell, that time is just ticking down and already Berlin is still putting up the pressure, not letting up off the gas. They are not letting St. Clair get a foothold here. Gonna make sure they slip off the mountain that they built for themselves. And now from the air, they're trying to make an approach here. The Saints need something, they need something quick. They need a goal now, or else they're not going to be able to tie things up. Now, 20 seconds on the clock. Hey, two goals every, uh, one goal every 10 seconds, potentially. It's not impossible, but hey, Christian playing that corner as usual. A demo from Ben's going to open things up just a little bit more. Vesh cradling it forward. They need to get this goal now if they want to even have a chance. And since the ball is still floating in the air, it's not going to happen. That's going to be game two going over to Technical University of Berlin. And the Saints looking at a loss here as they head into this game three. Yeah, Saints taking another loss here already. It's not looking good. After they had a clean sweep of their own, mm -hmm. things are looking very dire here, and Berlin is just coming out with a amazing showing. In game two of that last series, the Saints had six goals. Looking at them now, they're not even able to get one. Mm -hmm. Just really goes to show the difference, um, and it comes to these different teams, how they play, how they're able to adapt to each other, the strategies that they're employing, and I feel like right now, University of Berlin, it's just an overwhelming force. It's hard to penetrate through their defense, and their offense is so relentless, and they're always finding these opportunities when you're least expecting them. I at least remember for sure one of those goals kind of just came from like halfway across the field. Net was open. What are you really supposed to do about that? Exactly, yeah. It's really, really tough, and the Saints are finding good approaches, but the cha they don't have that many chances. Like, I mm -hmm. wish we could see that shot graphic again because I feel like the Saints are getting such few shots on the goal. Mm -hmm. They're getting one or two really good shots, but, of course, they're going to get defended out. They need more chances to be able to slip through those defenses. Yeah, and are you really going to get a chance when you're playing against a team that's sending constant interceptions, um, steals away as well? It's not easy, and it's not a it's not a free ride to get these goals, to get these shots, and they're not going to let you go for these opportunities. You have to force them to occur, to occur, and you have to force them in such a way that they're not going to be able to even counter that's another thing that's kind of uh risky even if you go for an opportunity even if you go for a shot you're kind of leaving yourself open to a counterattack if they save it like i mentioned one of those goals it was that exact same situation where they saints kind of went for a goal but off of the rebound they kind of shot it straight through one of the teams to center field as you know even if you're playing defense it makes sense to have at least one person center field kind of sends it forward and just sends it in no one was able to kind of respond for that because Saints were still sending one of their guys back, wasn't there in time, maybe like a second or two late, and mm -hmm. that's the goal. So even if you're playing offensively, you have to make sure you understand the risks that you're taking and play around them so you don't really pigeonhole yourself into a situation that you can't uh, recover from. Mm -hmm. That's really tough. I don't even know what the Saints should do against this because it's just such a tough tough matchup right they haven't mm -hmm. even gotten a goal i don't even know, they don't even know what would work well against berlin yeah they're trying they're trying and nothing is succeeding so far but so this might end up in a loss if things don't turn around right here Let's and see. they have to they have no choice the saints this is their last chance in this series to turn this into a success story and already things are looking bleak hey nine seconds into the round already finding your first goal when we when the saints did it in eight seconds we were impressed so just one second off saints ended up winning that game i think unfortunately this might be a sign of things to come you may be right here daniel but you know the saints they never give up they're going to keep on trying, keep on trucking, or carring rather here, <laughs> and they're going to try their darndest to turn this into a win. Now they're making a mad blitz onto the side of Berlin. Christian going for an air carry, can't quite get it though as Hyrule clears it out. Nice shot on the goal from Ben. It's going to get bounced right back. And with the demo, their net's looking dangerously wide open uh -oh. with no one to defend it. It's just <laughs> Vesh here trying to get the clear, and they just manage to do so barely. And now the first minute is down. Berlin up one point. The Saints looking a little bit better. They still have yet to get a single goal.
Yeah, and as you see, Ben kind of making that momentum off of that bounce, sends him up to the ceiling. He's going to bounce down and try to stuff the ball a little bit there, but not quite getting it. High roll, Tigre kind of eyeing the ball there. Vesh going to send that down inadvertently towards High roll, playing a nice pass. Oh, centered it. Unfortunately, no follow up for the Saints. Tigre. Taking that to the corner, gonna get demoed for it. It's Avesh also finding one on the other side of the field. And uh, Christian, wow, <laughs> off of the momentum from that boost, is gonna find another demo. So everybody getting demoed inside of Technical University of Berlin, not all at the same time, but all finding their fates eventually. And even that is not enough for the Saints to find an opening as Ben trying to keep this one in the air, tossing it down. Tigre is gonna steal it, always looking for these opportunities, but if you go too slow, it gets stolen eventually does get stolen eventually you know you gotta try and nail down everything you own because look at that nag flow is just gonna keep on stealing these goals out of nowhere the setup from up top diagonal is so hard to defend from we saw someone Ooh, went for the yeah. 50 and just barely missed it yeah universe 7 is really lucky to have this guy on their team here relying on them passing their will and again ultra instinct taking over <laughs> letting him just rest control of this game but hey vesh a nice shot maybe vesh is the jiren in this situation he can really <laughs> just you know surpass all the limits but i just hey he is you purple <laughs> Fair point. Still, um, I just noticed, I'm not going to let this happen like it didn't last game. We're already halfway through this game. Exactly. It really feels like it just started, though, and we're already 2-0. Saints have to find something, and I feel like if they don't find it soon, it's unlikely to happen. I know. Uh, they need to find a goal. I haven't found a goal in a long, long time. So they need one, and they need one quick. It's not unwinnable. Any other game, if this is game one, I say, oh, yeah, the Saints could easily turn this around. Mm -hmm. But just seeing how hard of a time they've had so far this is looking very dire and very dangerous nice pass back to christian he's gonna pass that up to ben he's gonna send it to the ground but again their setup is gonna get stolen it's getting hijacked and they can't go for the plays that they want to their plays are taking too long it, it's not even the fact that they're playing the play slowly it's just it, there's too much room too much opportunity for it to get intercepted uh, there's plays that need to be snappier or they need to go for things that will uh leave minimal opportunity and even that play there passing it up to ben that was a pretty solid play it's smart but thankfully it didn't happen but i could very easily see technical university of berlin intercepting plays like that constantly but it seems to be the way the saints like to play and uh it, it's getting kind of stomped out unfortunately as they're really able to stuff the offensive pressure from the saints christian getting a demo Maybe a chance, an opportunity for his team. It's going to get intercepted. Bounce back over to blue. Ben's going to get the save. Keeping it over. Passing up to the corner, taking it to the other. And that's going to be a nice pass to Ven uh, Vesh. Christian keeping it in the air. Stolen out. Once again, Tigre, the ball is just not going fast enough for it to matter for Technical University of Berlin. And with one minute remaining, can the Saints find something soon enough? Can they find it? They need to find something and quick, but Tigre gonna get the clear one minute remaining. It's doable, but I don't think it's gonna be very doable for the Saints. Cause let's say they even do tie it up. They now have to contest in an overtime with Technical University of Berlin, mm -hmm. and that's gonna be a tall order in it of itself. I mean, look at that. They're still going for aggressive plays. There's an opening. Vesh, just not quite fast enough to take advantage of it though. He beat the 50 there at least, keeping the ball steady. There was no teammate to follow up off of it though, and why would there be, right? That was an opportunity he kind of just found. And uh, when fate knocks and you don't answer the door, it's just gonna go to the next house. <laughs> but thankfully your teammate's in that next house, so hopefully they can answer the door. Vesh gonna get that save. It's gonna get stuck back over to Blue, but a nice follow up. Nagflo coming out of nowhere. RKO that ball right into the net, and nobody saw that coming. But wow, look at that. Christian, unfortunately, not able to bump him out of the way in time. Just too close to the ball, too fast. Really no room to make that work in your favor. And that is most likely, ladies and gentlemen, going to be this game three going the way of Technical University of Berlin as the Saints just do not have enough time to get all the goals that they need to tie things up or let alone to even surpass the goal advantage that Technical University of Berlin has. But a valiant effort, an excellent game, well played by all players involved. Saints still in it. Technical University going to even make their record more impressive, winning their first game now, winning their second 3-0 at the very least. So let's see what this team can do.
Yeah, I'm excited to see what Saints do, and congrats to Berlin. Maybe we'll see them again if we manage to keep winning these matches. We're coming for you guys. Yeah, now there's beef, though. There's a storyline building here. Saints versus Berlin. Let's see it once again. But first, before we get there, we need to win at least two more matches. Think We've so. taken our first loss, burned one of our cards. Could only burn one more. So, either way, Saints are either going to have to get a little bit better or hope that their sa their opponents get a little worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. And either or, the Saints will take it. Obviously, they want to have strong games. Well, we want them to have strong, exactly. close games. They want to win dominantly, whether <laughs> uh, one way or the other. That's exactly what they wanted, ladies and gentlemen. But more action is coming soon. We're going to send it to a break while we're getting ready for those other games to finish up so we know who we're playing next. But until then, stay tuned. We'll see you guys very soon.